All right, guys, so your boy got another product review upcoming for you right now, but I just wanted to give a quick shout out to, of course, those that sent it to me. My good friends over at Hori. Hori is the one that's responsible for a lot of these uh, unboxings that you have been seeing on this channel. They, they hooked me up with a fight stick. They've hooked me up with other controllers in the past that you'll actually find on my other channel, but everything's been migrated over to here because this is primarily where all of the video game content is going to be. From now on and uh yeah it looks like they are gonna continue with supplying your boy with endless amounts of controllers that i never have to worry about ever running out of controller options which is great and if you're wondering what controller it is well we are going to be reviewing the fighting commander boom fighting commander as you can already tell it takes some inspiration from a lot of the old style um sega controllers that featured uh, six face buttons me personally like some that might already know i'm a more of a fight stick kind of uh player i don't really use um pads like this however as i grow in age i kind of like i'm put into situations where it's like am i gonna always have to play on an arcade stick or am i going to have to be that guy like if i'm with family or something and we're all just kind of like playing for fun am i gonna be that dude's like oh no i can't play i, I gotta use my my, my fight stick I, I, I can't i can't yeah, i'm starting to grow out of that phase and honestly like it i'm sure we've all been like that at some point one way or another like you have to have that one controller that that makes you feel like comfortable and like you can't use any other controller or else you're not going to perform as well well this is definitely gonna kind of strike some chords if you might relate to me when you're listening to me talk about this but fighting commander like i said is a six button layout it's got your trigger buttons as normal um 10 foot wire um from what i can remember off the notes that i just read it does have um the switch functionality to make the d-pad into the left stick or the right stick um and with this convenient switch right here so of course it's naturally going to have the home button the share button plus minus all the normal buttons that you would find out of like the pro controller the standard controller for the nintendo switch or even the joy cons are all going to be on the fight commander now obviously this kind of goes without saying a lot of you that might be watching this already know that i am a fighting game enthusiast i run tournaments i commentate and whatnot so naturally you already know what this controller is for but for those that don't know this controller is most likely going to be used for your fighting games for your side scrollers for your 2d types of games any kind of game that doesn't really require you to move a camera with a second joystick because as you can see this john don't have one and it's not going to this also does not have wireless feature it's a freaking wired controller Okay, it's obvious. So let's open this baby up. You know, since the last time you saw me, I didn't have one of these. Ah, a box cutter. Does me wonders. All right, so simple unboxing. All right, so right off of, right out the box. And of course, you gotta always include your directions. Always gotta include your directions. Oh, very nice. Ooh, feels very retro. Feels very retro. I like it. Now again, we're gonna be running some tests on uh, a couple of a couple games that I have in mind. I do have quite a bit of games on my Nintendo Switch. Now, if I didn't say this before, this is a Nintendo Switch controller. Not sure if I mentioned this already, but obviously this is the Nintendo Switch version. Um, you, but however, you can use this on PC through X input. That is one of the features that this uh, controller does offer. So if you are trying to use a controller like this for any kind of games that you might have on Steam or something then you can uh, use the Fighting Commander. Fighting Commander also is available on the PS4. There is a PlayStation 4 version. Not sure about Xbox One, but huh, who's playing on that console anyway? <laughs> I had to, I'm sorry. Ooh, damn. Yep, this is 10 feet, all right. This is long. This is pretty ideal if you're gonna be playing in like a living room setup. Fortunately for me, my Switch is literally right in front of me. Okay, so naturally, the first test I always do with trying out brand new controllers um is I, I like to just try it on street fighter to be honest so i do have the 30th anniversary collection so we're gonna open that up first now what's funny about this layout that i will uh just kind of highlight already right off the bat from what i'm uh noticing is that you have your standard y x a b four button layout over here but then you have r and then you have z r so these are essentially what would be here but instead these are the 
L buttons now. So the whole point of having like a six button pad like this is so again, it kind of replicates having a fight stick, but um, you have a, the access to a D-pad. All right, so we got some good old Street Fighter. Okay, so again, like disclaimer, I am a fight stick dude. I can't stress that enough. Inputs come out pretty nicely, though, I will admit. Can I get a super out, though? Let's see. Ooh, nice. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm just so, I'm just, I'm personally just not used to having six buttons on it. But again, like, I I, I grew up playing on four face. I never had a Sega when I was a kid. So I never, I never got to experience that. So I just, I just became accustomed to like using four face buttons on a, on a pad. And then it was literally right up until I, I got into high school when I finally started using an arcade stick. Funny enough, my first arcade stick was a Hori EX2. It goes, I go way back with Hori and fun, it's, it's awesome that uh, they're sending me stuff now to review. So really awesome stuff. The D, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. The D-pad is is very good because, like I said, I'm not your. I'm not your. I, I don't use pad. I don't know how many times I, I have. I have to say that, but you know, Street Fighter is a pretty standard fighting game. It's like your creme de la creme. It's it's like your standard. And boom, like the input come out hella clean. Like you see it. For, you see me doing it right now. Again. It's nice. Oh, I see. I, I, I f***ed up. There we go. Okay. No, it's, it's, it's very good. It's really good. Very good D-pad. D-pads are important. And you know what else? What other games are important for D-pads? Pokémon Tournament. So funny enough, I will say that Hori has also been responsible for creating a controller that is specifically designed for Pokémon to basically mock or model the original arcade controller. And I'm very glad that Hori did because Hori is known for having loads of different peripherals for a bunch of different consoles. And that has been the definitive controller for Pokémon Tournament. Actually, Pokémon has had a little bit of a resurgence recently. I saw that they were offering the game up for free for like a like a free trial period if, if you didn't already have it, which I mean, I already do. This is something that I'm actually curious about because I've been using this Pokémon controller for a very long time. As a matter of fact, this is this is like one of the three different models. Actually, there's yeah, like there's like three models. There's the default white one that came out during the Wii U days. Then there's a black one that they released that I have right here. And the white one I don't have on me, but it's most likely somewhere in my basement or something. I've been using these Hori controllers for a very long time for Pokin and Pokin only. However, you can use them for other games like that are 2D. But the unique thing about Pokin is that it's not just a 2D game. It is a very unique game in itself. And it is like no other. If you like your unique fighting games that are very good in their own respect, I definitely highly recommend you checking out Pokin Tournament DX on the Nintendo Switch. So let's get right into it. So I'm so used to the layout of what it's like. And this is a similar layout, you know, kind of almost feels the same in comparison to the, the Pokin controllers. It's not as thick, you know what I'm saying? but you still have a good enough grip. It's actually a little bit smaller than the, the Pokin pads. Dashing feels good. Now here's the other thing. The one thing that I'm gonna have to do as far as if you're gonna use this for Pokin, you're gonna have to uh, definitely map the buttons to your liking because this is what I would normally use for shield. As you can see on the original Pokemon pads right here, they only got two buttons, a left button and a right button. This has a lot more options, as you can see, which is not a problem, options are good. I need my L button to be block. And see, this is the thing, this button right here is a brand new button. It, has, it doesn't even do anything. So, oh, I see. Hey, future Uchi right now. So I did test this a little bit more once I ended the video. And I have to update you guys on the fact that if you guys are looking at this controller and you're actually interested in getting it for the use for of Pokemon Tournament, I 
have to put a warning for you guys right now that a big crucial thing is I know that literally 95% of the players are going to be trying this if you are going to be trying this that formerly came from the official Hori Pokin controller and the big difference is obviously within the shoulder buttons and the fact that the fighting commander has more buttons than normal the thing with this is that the i figured out what the top toggle actually does what that's meant to be for is just to switch which sides you want your l and your zl button to be on so essentially if you toggle it to the right then the inputs are basically meant to be on the opposite side where if you toggle it to the opposite side then the other two buttons are going to be active as your new l and zl and you can actually tell if you look closely at the layout of the toggle switch that either way the lsb rsb i know it can be a little confusing but those are just the button names that hori must have just came up with just to like separate them so they're not like adding any more crazy letter combinations to their brand new buttons but essentially the four shoulder buttons it doesn't seem like they all four can be used at once this could be different if you're using this through x input on your pc for whatever games you might be playing on there but as far as using this on the switch it doesn't look like considering that this has more buttons than any of the actual nintendo switch controllers that you're not able to use all four of the shoulder buttons you can only map them on one side or on the other a pretty nifty feature but if you're again if you're coming from pokin and you want to have your support button as the left trigger while your block is the right trigger that's pretty standard for pokin then you're gonna have to pretty much come up with a, a new layout altogether i mean personally i think that here a, a quick recommendation is to literally just map one of your new face buttons whether that would be r or zr so you could just leave those as is just you'd have to get used to hitting your support button on there and then just switching your block to where the zl position would be so that way you get that natural trigger finger um feel for when you're trying to hold block other than that just keep an eye out on that and yeah i just wanted to throw that into the video before i continued with the rest of the review so again enjoy the review and enjoy the controller so for the sake of this quick review i will say that d-pad motions are very good um, every input that I'm I'm putting in it works just fine setting up the controller might be a little confusing just because um, I did take some time to try to figure out exactly how I wanted my controller to be mapped you do have a lot more buttons to work with there's actually two extra buttons that you normally wouldn't mess with um, because normally what you the layout is block and then it would be a, a support Pokemon right over here All right guys, so again that has been your review on the fighting commander brought to you in part by Hori I appreciate you guys for sending me this uh, This product again. I will have to say um, that this definitely gets a pass for me um, Another great controller that they have made um, Specifically was designed for your traditional fighting games that definitely see like a six button layout um, to kind of represent like a fight stick a game like Pokin can definitely you could definitely use something like this But just keep in mind that you're gonna have to do some like button um, Input mapping of your own to figure out exactly how you'd want your layout to be all the buttons feel nice They're pretty big um, that you know exactly like where you are on on the controller itself the d-pad which is probably like the, one of the most important things on this controller right now is actually really solid and it is really cool to have extra buttons um on the uh, shoulder side of things on this guy as well 10 foot wire is pretty godlike i actually don't mind having long wired controllers because i'm always thinking like well what if i'm somewhere else where i'm not so close to my system at least i'll have a long enough wire so that way i can I still sit comfortably and play on this another thing i should probably note is that there is no vibration uh features on this obviously there's no wireless features and there's no nfc reader this is literally and you could tell because it's very light this is a light ass controller like you could toss this by accident okay well it's not that light it's not it, it's not on the six axis 
kind of light if you remember that controller so guys if there's any questions that you might have for me um feel free to ask me in the comments below let me know if you guys get yourselves a uh, hori commander a fighting commander i will be putting a link in the description so that you can check it out for yourselves this is, this is available as of right now so you can definitely get this for the nintendo switch like i said this is the nintendo switch version um, and they do have a PlayStation 4 version as well. Last but not least, it is uh, a, an officially licensed Nintendo product. So if that matters to a lot of folks and when deciding on whether you want a new controller or not, then it is officially sanctioned and licensed by Nintendo. Make sure you guys are clicking that like button, hit the subscribe and the alert if you haven't already, and please do make sure you're taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you keep it locked loaded right here on the Uji Games channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I'll see y'all next time.